What is the most delicious thing you've ever eaten? My first encounter with a medium cooked steak blew my little 12 year old mind. My mom cannot eat any bloody cooked meat that seeps red juices or looks pink because to her it's raw, so I grew up eating super well done meats note, often overcooked and very dry until a neighbor kid's parents invited my sister and I for dinner once. The man cooked steaks and some were medium rare while others were a touch more done. All of them were seasoned to perfection and I ate mine so quickly. My sister wondered if I was okay because I'm a slow eater who usually takes forever to get through a meal. That steak changed my life forever and I only eat them medium to medium rare now. The only person to ever get close to that original steak was an ex of mine who had amazing cooking skills. I miss his steaks much more than the guy himself. Had burnt ends for the first time in Kansas City. Friend's brother invited us down from Nebraska, and holy hell it's like 15 years later and it's still the best thing I've ever had. A meal a succulent Chinese meal, ooh that's a nice headlock I see you know your judo well. Crab cake with real crab meat. Around 1990 we went on a choir trip for competition. After it was over we all stopped for lunch. Me and my friend decided to split a deep dish pizza from Pizza Hut. It was perfection. I've never had any food close to it. That was 34 years ago, and I still remember how blown away I was. This schnitzel with a cheese and wine sauce I had at a tiny restaurant in a small town in Germany. A few days ago a local grocery store near me had big boxes of strawberries ID caught them at what must be the ideal part of the season ripeness. Each one was the size of a child's fist, and they were perfectly deep, blood red and shiny, no blemishes at all. I was cutting them in half and squeezing fresh lime onto each piece, and it would explode in my mouth with sweetness and tang. For me it's lasagna. I love the creaminess. I know it's basic but Thai fried rice. Khao Soi from a random street side shack in Thailand we booked one of those day tours. See the elephants. See the tigers I now know it's an immoral trade with shit conditions and regret giving money to it and there was a planned lunch buffet. But my buddy pestered the driver to take us where he would go to lunch. So we pulled over to a random open air restaurant and he sat us down and came back with four bowls of Khao Soi and two plates of chicken satay. It was heaven. Perfect blend of spices with the sweet coconut curry and chilies, so hot yet subtle I was legit high off the capsaicin. I've been chasing that meal ever since. I had a lobster bisque at a restaurant in Florida that was heavenly. That's the first thing that came to mind. The next was mussels in a white wine garlic sauce with crusty bread in Venice. Mouth watering. My hot Puerto Rican wife. Enchilada suizas with a creamy verde sauce. My dad's brisket I need to get the recipe off of him so I can have it more often most delicious? That's such a difficult one. I was drunk and won a bunch of money in Laughlin, Nevada, and then had the world's most perfect burger. Most memorable? Spending the day making pot roast with my grandma, sharing it, and savoring every single moment of it. Pierogies. Turkish donor in Germany. My BFS ants chicken enchiladas. They are the most delicious enchiladas I've ever had and have ruined every other enchiladas for me. I think about them literally all the time. As a child I went to the beach on a family trip and right as we were leaving the adults made friends with a young group near us and they offered us some of the food they were grilling to eat on our way home. They ran up and basically threw a beef fajita taco at me right as the door was being closed. I was probably 12 or younger at this point and when I bit into it my entire world changed. I don't know what they did, but that was the best taco I have ever tasted and I've been chasing that dragon ever since. I went to a wedding once back in 2018, they had a self-serving station for food when I came across a pan of Swedish meatballs. I was never a fan of meatballs due to their shape, but I reluctantly grabbed three. I sat down and took a nibble off one, my mind was beyond blown. You've ever seen that scene from Ratatouille where the critic ate the food and had a flashback? Yay, that was me, under my breath I muttered holy shit. I got up and filled my plate up with maybe 20 of them and chowed down. Sometimes it works since I work around food I contemplate trying to replicate what I had that day, but I know anything I cooked can't hold a candle to those meatballs. To whoever made those meatballs, I hope you went off and did great things in life. You will forever be in my heart.